when pyro goes wrong in WWE. When professional wrestling is known for its elaborate pyro, but accidents happen, and when they do, watch out. WWE has a very good record when you consider how elaborate its pyro can be. However, in 2008, WrestleMania 24's Grand Fireworks finale went wrong as pyro shot into the fans following a match between Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. A handful of fans were taken to hospital, but thankfully, there were no serious injuries. Now, the Undertaker has had some of the most spectacular and longest entrances during his three decades in WWE, with Fire often playing a central role. It was a sight to behold, but not at 2010's Elimination Chamber. There, the Phenom was burnt when a pyrotechnician mistimed things and Fire shot up from the floor as The Undertaker walked across it, engulfing him in flames. Thankfully, The Undertaker was wearing his long leather coat and hat, which provided some protection. Nonetheless, he was burnt, where they believed he suffered first and second degree burns, one report claims third degree. Regardless, The Undertaker, who was defending his World Heavyweight Championship in the Elimination Chamber, worked nearly 30 minutes, his only comfort being that he was given bottles of water to douse himself with while he waited in one of the pods. Incredibly, Taker appeared the next night on Raw, but the pyrotechnician didn't as they were promptly fired. In 2012, a fire struck on the set of Raw at Cincinnati's US Bank Arena. The WWE was running a rehearsal check on its pyro before the 1001th episode of Raw was set to air. A mishap led to the Titantron catching fire. The fire was put out and as fans know, not even a wrestler's death will stop the WWE from continuing the show. The building was evacuated as fans hadn't been let in yet until a fire marshal gave the all clear. The WWE delayed fans entering the arena for about an hour but the show aired on time and WWE's Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler even informed fans on air what had happened, complete with a video of the fire. WrestleMania 33 saw another fiery failure. This one occurred after The Undertaker lost to Roman Reigns. The Undertaker had left the stage just when the pyro misfired, setting part of the stage afire. Stagehands were able to extinguish the fire promptly. Were the wrestling gods voicing their displeasure at The Undertaker's loss? All that's known is that the fire was promptly put out. Now, these real-life pyro mishaps shouldn't be confused with staged accidents such as when Jeff Hardy was supposedly injured by pyro, with the storyline revealed that his brother Matt injured near the incident, or when the WWE stage fell on Vince McMahon. Oddly enough, the infamous angle where Vince's limousine blew up, with him apparently in it, led to confusion with some members of the general public over whether this was a stunt or some sort of real-life incident. There was also a brief period when the WWE paused its pyro, but this apparently had nothing to do with any of the mishaps mentioned but was due to budget cuts. Finally, a more recent show saw a fan reportedly injured by what he described as a pyrotechnics blast. Marvin Jackson attended WrestleMania 38 and alleged in a lawsuit that he suffered hearing loss from the incident. Although the lawsuit was dismissed, the dismissal is being appealed. As we've seen, these pyro mishaps have been unfortunate, but they haven't been catastrophic. Nonetheless, there is only one thing eerie about them, how many of them happened before or after a match featuring The Undertaker? But there you have it folks, when Pyro goes horribly wrong in WWE. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.